Hi, I'm Brian Lane, Senior Product Manager of Imaging Software at Schneider Electric. In this video, we're going to go over the directional motion analytic. To get here, you want to log into your web GUI from your camera. And from there, you want to click on Settings, and then click on the Events pull-down tab till you get to the analytic configuration. You should already have a profile running, and your scene already calibrated. If you're not quite sure how to do this, please refer to the video on Profile and Calibrate Scene. We're just going to concentrate on the directional motion algorithm. So under Select Behavior, select Directional Motion and activate the behavior. Now the directional motion behavior generates an event or an alarm when a person or object moves into a specific direction. The typical installations for this include airport gates where cameras observe passengers boarding a plane in a terminal, and if a person moves in the opposite direction of the normal flow of traffic, for example, it will trigger an alarm. The same thing goes for cars. If there's a tunnel and a car is going the wrong direction, also this will trigger an alarm. Exit doors, for example. If a, if a camera is pointed at an exit door and a person tries to enter through that exit door, it will also trigger an event or alarm. Now, to set up a scene for directional motion, make sure you install the camera in a ceiling or against a wall with a lens pointing down at a slight angle, like in this particular scene here. Now the width of the object to be detected should be at least one-tenth of the total width of the scene. To achieve increased accuracy in crowded scenes, set the width of the object to one-sixth of the total width of the scene. The ideal scene selection for the direct motion behavior is light traffic, minimal object obstructions, and a clean background. A scene which, uh, with objects or people move in a single direction. Now, the behavior can be used in a setting where it does not meet all these requirements, but in heavy traffic or busy backgrounds when they're unavoidable, you want to place the monitoring zone in a relatively stable area. Now, avoid crowded scenes where people move in all directions or stand in one place for long periods of time. Now, that said, what you're going to want to do is set up either a rectangle, a polygon, or a, a line that you want to draw, for instance, a tripwire. Now in this particular demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a tripwire across here. Okay, so I'm going to click on the tripwire. I'm going to pull it across, like so. Okay, and I'm going to put it roughly about where, where I want that to reside. Okay, so I'm going to put it right about there. Now, I'm going to want to name this as well, because when it pops up on the analytic feedback screen, you're going to want to know what it actually is if you have several analytics running. So, um, it's called the directional motion algorithm, so I don't have to repeat that. I can basically say where this is. I can say that it's in the hallway. Okay. Now, um, when you click on advanced enable advanced options this gives you the ability to select sensitivity or object speed now sensitivity is the sensitivity of the whole scene this overrides the sensitivity you selected in your profile settings it only overrides it for this particular analytic it will not override it for other analytics if you have those running the object speed is relative to how fast the object moves across pixels the scale is 2 to 18 pixels. A speed of 1, if I select that here, that translates to 2 pixels. If I select 10, that will translate to 18 pixels. So if an object moves really fast, at 180 pixels per second, for example, you should set the speed for 10 for the algorithm to actually detect it. This is the best way for this is to actually experiment until you get the results you want. Leave it at 5, then adjust it until needed, until the analytic functions the way you would actually expect. Okay? So I know in this particular situation I'm, I'm going to have slower moving objects. So I'm going to keep it around 3, and I'll experiment from there. Now, the direction arrow here, this will only trigger an alarm when the object is moving in the direction of the arrow. So in this particular scene, I only want to detect people that are actually coming into the hallway. 
So I want to have objects moving downward that I want to detect. If anybody actually moves in the opposite direction, it won't detect it. Okay, now the zone sensitivity, this is the sensitivity of just this particular zone. So if you created a second tripwire, for example, let's say I tri put another tripwire right here, okay, that's going to have its own zone of sensitivity and its own direction, okay? But in this particular scene, we are only going to do one zone, okay? Now, the next thing is, is enable alarm. This will generate an alarm that will be received by the head end. You set up your head end to do whatever you want when you receive an alarm. For example, start recording, close a relay, put a red box around the video window, for example. Or you can actually set up a source inhaler to have the camera run in action. The alarm severity is to tell the head end how critical the alarm is. So you have four selections. If I choose normal, for example, and my head end is set up to only trigger an alarm when there's a critical alarm, I, the head end won't actually receive an alarm for this particular alarm. So we're going to leave it at normal in this particular situation. So the next thing on here is dwell time. This defines the time in seconds that the alarm triggered zone turns to normal status. Okay, we're just going to leave that at five seconds. Okay, now once you've done this, make sure that you have activated your behavior and that you're running your profile and then you save everything. The next step is to click on the live selection up here. And you'll see it says primary stream down here. You're going to want to select that and then click on event stream and then click on select. Now as you can see an analytic alert popped up tell me in the hallway at this particular time directional motion was detected east hallway profile triggered in hallway and that's all there is to setting up a directional motion analytic. Thank you.